Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, last run didn't go too great, but uh, yeah, we're going to hope to turn that around with the Ironclad here. Still potentially going to be a little rusty. I'm not sure. Uh, lose all gold for a relic could be good. Three random potions could be good. Choose a card is also pretty decent. We got our boy here. We could go either of these ways. There's a... A shot at a double elite, but that's super risky. We'll probably do it anyway. Because we're just absolutely mad. We're probably going to go this way. So we're going to hit a shop pretty early if we do that. We could go this way, I guess. We're hitting a shop either way if we're going for double elite, so we kind of need our gold. So it's between these two. Which would we rather have? A card or three potions? I think we'd rather have the three potions. You want it to here, right? And go this way? Pretty sure that's right. Okay. Good old fashioned ironclad. Not a bad start. Speed potion. Yeah. Healing for eight doesn't seem all that great. So I think we're going to ditch that and grab the speed. Just in case. We do get to shrug it off right away, which is amazing. It'll help us a lot in these elite fights. Totally do that with all these shop, with this shop coming up. We can ditch it and then we can also uh, reap the benefits of having extra money. Because doubt isn't that bad. We could kill him, but then we're just straight up taking seven. But we heal six, so we'd be taking one. I think that's worth it. I think we're fine with that. I get a, for some reason, I just got a bad feeling that we're going to get a potion at the end of this fight. I don't know what it is. But uh, our goal with this with this deck is to make it past the second floor this time. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Been having some pretty... Uh, I don't want to call it bad luck, because I can't really call it bad luck, but... I haven't been playing very well, I guess, is a better way to put it. Been doing my best, just... Uh, Gotta shake the rust off a little bit, you know? Another shrug it off is excellent. Double shrug it off, just like that. Hmm. I'd rather fight this guy first and know where I'm at before I go into any combat, just in case if I get some, uh... Something like... I don't know, uh... Deal damage to yourself or something. I wanna know where I'm at, health-wise. Before the Elite. That's why I'm going to do it this in this order instead of uh, getting the question mark first and then doing the fight before the elite. If you're wondering why I went this way instead of the other way, give me some shrug it offs. Didn't necessarily mean bolt, but I'm not gonna complain. I hope my mic's sounding better as well. I did a bunch of tinkering in uh, this application called uh, Pod Farm. It's a really neat application. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Put on a bunch of uh, a bunch of things that I thought would help. I think it made it a little bit louder, but not overwhelmingly loud. And uh, definitely think it improved the quality, which is great. Body Slam is pretty nice. Um... Upgrade two random cards. There's only three cards we would hit that would be any good, so we're not gonna do that. Okay, we get knob.
I don't know if that Rampage card is actually any good or not. I've never actually used it in the deck by itself. Let me strike. Oh, that's fine. The doubt is really bad there. I'm not going to lie, but what are you going to do? It's really annoying that we drew it again. shop and then we got another elite and then we got the burning elite pretty quick succession at that so Tori is excellent very happy with that feed is also excellent we're getting some great cards qualified hand is so good blood vial is decent flex is good shrug it off is good it's not a great card we're gonna ditch the doubt though I don't know if I'd hand I'm tempted by. It's because it's pretty nice. Corruption is okay, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm just not gonna take corruption. This isn't a corruption deck. Uh, we don't have any more shops coming up, right? Oh, we do actually. We do have another one. I mean, mummified hand is good. Screw it. Hopefully we'll make enough money before that next shot. Alright, Log of Woolen. Not so bad, I guess. Um, I don't think we want to play any of those. What would we even be hoping for? I guess we wouldn't really be hoping for anything, huh? Unless we're just hoping for a bash. Bash in another attack. I mean, I guess. I think Bash attack is our best opening turn, so we may as well wait it out. Doesn't hurt us. Yeah. Bash plus. I mean, we're probably not going to get feed to work, but I'll play it anyway. This is just regular Lagavulin. So. Still super scary, but. It's just a regular man. Impervious is pretty good. Well, probably should have taken this before we took uh, the Shrug it off, but. Oh well. Just gave us a free turn, more or less. Wish we would have had Body Slam in hand for it. Alright, Tori's gonna be super helpful here. Maybe I should have gambled his brood on that last whenever it was. Probably would have been worth it, huh? Gambler's brood is not really worth it here. Just do our damage and be on our way. Uh, I guess we just kind of have to hope for uh, an easier immolated fight. What are we hoping for? I mean, I don't even know what would be the easiest fight for us. It's, it's, it's super bad. 
taking way too much damage. Well, we're getting feed, which I mean, it is going to boost our max HP if we can kill it this turn, which we totally can, right? Yeah, absolutely. Wing boots, a little underwhelming, but it's fine. I like armaments. If we can get it upgraded, it would be great. We want to go this way and fight the immolated elite. Uh, I mean, the nunchucks are fine, they're just not amazing. Get knob with regenerate. This is probably going to be the end, but so it goes, I suppose. Uh, and I guess this is fine. This is more than likely going to be the end, but I'm hoping for the best here. Really hoping for the best. Take that. Try to do as much damage as possible. Super bad. I'm gonna play feed because it does the most damage. Yeah, we're dead, but <laughs> we tried. <laughs> that was the worst attempt I've ever seen in my entire life. But I mean, that's that's the risk that comes with trying to play super risky. If we would have made it through. We would have had some great advantages. That's not so bad, I guess here so we can start this way this way or this way um, I guess we'll start over here because this way if we don't get any combat in those question mark rooms we can cheese an elite which would be great I like iron wave as a card a lot Rate it very highly I wish we'd be able to buy that it would have been great but what are you gonna be able to do? What are you gonna, what are you gonna do, you know? No combat. Thank you. Oh, okay. Hummel. Don't really want that. Don't really want that bash either. Blind, Wraith. Wraith is right there, so we don't want that. Do we want the blind? Blind is okay, but I don't know if we want it. Oh, we definitely want that. Double tap. All right. Worth it. No combat. No combat. No combat. Thank you. Can't afford the shrug it off or the juggernaut. Both would be great. Toxic egg is also insane, so it's really unfortunate that we couldn't get that. There's so much stuff here that we would have loved to have gotten. But that's okay. Can't win them all. I had two drop kicks already. That potentially could have been excellent. We're going for a drop kick deck, I guess. Next two attacks are played twice. Absolutely. All right, we get to cheese this uh, Sentry Elite fight here. Excellent. Not an excellent start, because we're not going to be able to kill them all, but it's fine. We're almost guaranteed, if not guaranteed, to draw strike this turn. Pretty sure we were guaranteed. Omomori. It can be useful. Shrug it off will definitely take. Upgrade again. What do we want to upgrade? Probably Iron Wave. Because it's a double upgrade and I love double upgrades. Go here. We will grab. Preserved Insect, I guess. I like Preserved Insect, so I cannot complain.
That's about as good as we're gonna get, right? Pretty important to not forget that we have Omamori. It can be very useful later on. So do not forget that we have Omamori self. Do not forget it. Sorry if I'm talking a little quiet as well. My voice is still a little weak. I'm trying to mitigate as much damage as I can here. Not really too much of a reason to. I didn't catch what our boss is gonna be. It's probably Hexaghost. Double tap, even with just Strike Strike, is amazing. Really glad we were able to get that. Coming up on him. That bash. What does that do? Seven and eleven, I think, right? Seven and ten, maybe. It's not bad. Just, I don't know. I don't think we want to take that much damage. Probably for the best. I think we're gonna need three attacks because I think our strikes are doing four now. So if we can get three strikes, it'd be great. This is fine as well. Just fine, but fine. Red Skull is okay. Metallicize is great. I actually very much so enjoy Metallicize. I missed what our boss was. I think it was Guardian. But I just saw the bottom of it. Wasn't thinking enough to look. It'd be really nice if we had uh, one more energy. Something like Sozu would do us wonders. Love that Sozu relic. Weakened, huh? I don't really know what I was hoping to draw there. I know we didn't need to play the defend, I was just drawing to see if we got something better than a strike, but I don't really know what's better than a strike, huh? We'd like a Juggernaut, if that's possible. I don't really like any of these. Really, only these two that are gonna be beneficial for us. Two elevenths for 16 HP. Is that worth it? It's the Guardian. I mean, Guardian isn't that bad. Ooh, we hit the shrug it off. It was worth it. One less card we have to upgrade. Remove a card for seven. That's worth it. Ditch a defend. Maybe I should have ditched a strike there. Not sure. It went very well, actually. Who to thunk? These are both frail boys, right? Neither of these can weaken me. They both just do frail. So that's pretty good.
We've drawn that shrug it off a pretty good amount of times. It just seems to always be there when we need it. Liquid bronze. I would love to just stack a bunch of liquid bronzes up. 49. We'll respect him a little bit and go for that rest. He's not an amazing boss, but he's good for us right now. Plated armor might be worth it in this fight. We'll see. This is a lot of damage. If we're playing plated armor, it's not right now anyway. I think we have that, yeah. Just. We'll probably wind up popping this. Not yet, but should we need it? Three bronze skills. It's really worth it. I was thinking about double tapping, and it wasn't really worth it to double tap. Is what I meant there. Super tough call. It might just be me, I don't know. I think we're just gonna take a little bit of damage here. I know you're saying take the thorns when he does that, but I don't know, I still think it's quite worth it. So we can't quite do enough to him. Um, it's a shame. We need more damage output here. We're struggling. Struggling for some damage. We need an activator like a juggernaut or something would be great. If we could beat him and grab a juggernaut, we'd be very content with that. end up saving this uh, plated armor potion and just kind of hope that we don't actually get a potion at the end of this I guess. Double bash him. Thank you. 
I'm being super quiet, but it's because I'm kind of super concentrating, I guess. It's because we're right there and I don't want to mess anything up, you know? It wasn't quite as simple as I thought it was going to be, but we did make it through. Barricades is great, of course. These aren't quite what we were hoping for. No longer being able to rest is real bad. I don't... I mean... I just don't think that's very good. I think we're just going to take that. It's not great, but... What are you gonna do? Collector. Okay. Hmm. I think we wanna go this way. Some voids right off the bat. Sure. Taking one with that, yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah, not so bad. It's only eight, but we do have metallicized, so it's completely fine. Need to strike on this guy. Eventually, we'll get him down. Yo, know, we should have popped the cow traps. We should have popped one of these ages ago. I'm gonna drink one, just one though. And then I'm gonna focus on uh, defense for the rest of this, most likely. know what I was thinking there. Should have done that ages ago. There's one bird down. course of action right now. This way we'll only have to block for the start of his attack if he's hitting us with a multi-attack, which we're hoping he is. Nice. We only have to block a little bit and we're fine. We're already fine. But, you know. Nothing we really want there. We need Juggernaut or something akin to it. Just, we need a way to do damage passively. So we do not have that right now. Struggling a lot in the damage category. I mean, you get more off with two strikes. So I think it's worth double striking. We don't really need to artifact ping him. Yeah, 
Not so bad. Taking 10, which is a little annoying. But I'm hoping we'll be able to finish him off shortly. Just doing 10 once again. And block 6 right away. Good full block. Probably should full block. Yeah, may as well. I think he gets 20 shield from that. 15. 20, huh? Not enough to kill him with double taps, so... Don't think we're gonna be going for that. Still don't think that's enough to kill him with double tap, is it? It's still worth it though. Oh, it is. It's exactly enough to kill him with double tap. Very lucky of us. Armaments is good, but I'm not gonna take it this time. Because I'm a big old baby. This guy's super annoying, as I'm sure you know. Very much so dislike this guy. Hmm. Do we use up the other double tap or do we strike? We're only getting three damage off on the strike, so I'd rather not take any damage. Could use the other liquid thorns, but I don't know if that's. It's got to be worth it, actually. Should have played that long, long ago. Barricade's probably pretty good, but we just don't have a way to do anything with it right now. It's not all that great right now. If we had a Juggernaut, it would make this deck so much better. Or something similar to Juggernaut at the very least. Eight. Eight's full block, so I guess we'll go ahead and do that. take one. I think we'll take one and then we'll double tap Iron Wave next turn. Unfortunately, that's the best we're going to be able to do right now. Still taking two. It's kind of annoying. We're doing everything we can. Really wish we would have played Liquid Bronze at the start. Would have made this much easier. I wasn't really thinking we're going to be able to kill him. Six, three, two. Enough. Six, three, two, six, nine, eleven. That's exactly enough. Lucky us. 
Trinket's a little tempting, but I don't think we need it. Why don't we start over here anyway? Why don't we start here or like here or something? I don't understand. Uh... Everything's so difficult. Do we really need an activator? Really out here begging for an activator game, please, Juggernaut. Something similar to Juggernaut. Double tap just isn't enough. We don't have good enough cards for it. 14. Let's see a little bit. Taking three, it's not that bad. Um, we could barricade this turn. They usually don't attack us for that much. It might be worth it. We haven't even played barricade since we got it. Let's try it. The entire time we've had it, we've never played it. And granted, we haven't had it that long, but still. We're gonna go for a little bit of this. Maybe even a little bit of this. She should be strength buffing. There's no reason for her to be healing. Yeah. Don't know if that's better or worse for me. Probably worse, huh? I think killing this guy is the strategy I went for, and it was working very well. She should be healing this turn, though. This is a little annoying. Just attacking that. Get full use out of that. I full block this. Pretty lucky to full block it, honestly, but... We do full block, yeah. 23. Is that doable? It does not look it. It was pretty close. Not quite. So 21 is what he will have. It's not so bad. We should be able to do 21 damage. Strikes do 9, yeah. Triple strike is actually enough as it is. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna triple strike anyway, let's just do it the fancy way. Okay. What is she doing? Are you buffing yourself or something? Like, what's going on here? Are you preemptively healing? Did you heal at full health, expecting me to do a bunch of damage to you? Okay, I didn't think so. I didn't think you were that much of a beast. We're getting there though. One or two more turns and she'll be gone. When we can get barricade rolling, it's very good. It just takes us a while to get it there. Not so bad. Ooh, another liquid bronze is great. I don't really need any of those. I mean, Flex is a good card, but it's just not what we're looking for. We really need damage. We don't need it in the Flex kind of way. I do think that uh, this runic pyramid, is that what it's called? Okay, this runic pyramid, I do think it lends itself well to a barricade deck. Because it lets you hold on to it. 
and you can play it whenever you feel like you need to, which is super handy. I will say that. So I do like that aspect of it. 17. Yeah, we're fine. It's not that bad. Picking two. I think Cultus should go down this turn. Ooh, the days is actually aren't gonna be that bad. That's a lot of damage. Five. It's a little annoying. Hopefully we don't take too much, because I would love to be able to upgrade at this upcoming bonfire. I just should have bashed there. I was thinking about it. Playing that more over for the defense than I am for anything else. Sure, you can see that, but you know, this turn hopefully we'll be able to get off double tap, tons of damage. I doubt it though, and yeah, doesn't look like that. Draw more defense. Hopefully, we can draw some. Nice. Maybe it would have been more worthwhile playing barricade there. I don't know. Tough call. Luckily we can block it for the most part, but it's a load of damage. That would be a full block. This is also would be a full block, and we don't draw from it, so I guess we'll get that one. We're not getting much out of these though. It just keeps demolishing us. One off the full block, it's close enough. This is why we need Juggernaut. We can do. We really only do. We, we don't do a lot of damage right now. That's more or less what I'm trying to say. And we need to do more damage. Real bad. Double tap there is basically playing a 7 block defend, so it's more worthwhile than just straight up playing a defend. He's just going to keep getting more and more powerful, so I mean, I, I don't want to, but we have to defend this turn. We're taking 20, is that what we're taking here? Uh, uh. Iron Wave is really our best damage dealer right now. This is just tough. Dragonaut would make this deck so much better. This could be really good, actually. I'm gonna take that. Just because we can get all of the cards in our hand and then just hold it. Hold it until we have like a million cards. Please, Juggernaut. Please. 
Um, I mean, this is pretty good. I guess we'll take that. Did just strike as well. We'll be on our way. Um, extra three damage is great. One cost reduction is also really good. Extra metallicize is good. This is just like, this is going to be a good card for us, and I think it's. I think we're going to go ahead and do that. That should be able to uh, help us a lot. It's not a great relic, so we'll go ahead and skip on that one. Ooh. I actually like this relic quite a bit. It gives us some strength. Only on the first turn, but still, it's strength. Okay. Well, I think we learned our lesson, so... Even though this time, I think we're going to be able to do it a little bit easier, now that we have this fiend fire. Because it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times seven. I mean... I don't know if he gets that malleable buff in between each one. I don't really want to risk that, so I'm not going to. Strike, metallicize, or defend. Logic says defend because we popped our potion, so he's going to be taking damage. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see, actually. Okay, so the malleable does not come in between. Good, good, good. I think that's going to be a very viable way for us to do a ton of damage in the future. I'm going to take a sip of my water. I love this, but it's just not worth it. <laughs> um, Alright, we can have revenge on these two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixty. We can kill him. I think that's worth it, actually. It means we only have seven cards to deal with the uh, mage here. Or mystic, I mean. But I think we'll be okay. We do have some potions, should it come down to it. It's a lot of attacks. We only have one block, as it turns out. Maybe that's a little worse than I thought it was gonna be. Maybe. I think we'll be fine. Because we're gonna draw it, and then we can just do it again. Yeah, we'll be a-okay. Just do the same exact thing again. Oh, we can double tap. Oh, that, well, I don't think that would do anything. I was going to say we could double tap Havoc, or the fire, whatever it's called. I want to say Havoc fire, but I don't think that's correct. Fiend fire. I was going to say we could double tap Fiend fire, but I just don't think it would work. At least I don't think it would work well. So we're not going to be doing much this turn, unfortunately, but... Oh well. Probably should have saved that third defend. Would have been an extra card. Could be useful. Keep a defend in our hand for next turn. 
I don't want to be defendless. Even though it's pretty likely that we're going to draw one. Still. Just in case they're going to hit us hard. I'd like to be able to do... Draw into some goodies. Um, if we kill him, he's going to be hitting us super hard. Is that worth it? Or do we wait a turn? If we wait a turn... We're taking damage. Right? 15... It's 3. We'd be taking 1 if we wait a turn. Um, what is he going to be doing after this? That's the question. I guess we kill him. I mean, we're taking a lot... I'm taking 12. I don't know if that was worth it. Okay, let me see. 14. 7 to 85. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 10. That's enough. Ridiculous. This, this is exactly what we needed, so... No complaints from me. Armaments? Oh, maybe I should have taken armaments. And upgraded armaments would have been so good. Because my hand is always so huge. We need to rest against the collector here. Because I don't think we're going to be using our fiend fire strategy until the absolute end. But... Would have been really nice if we drew barricade there. Barricade would have been a great draw, turn one. But... didn't quite get it. I think we just focus this guy, huh? Let's drink all of our potions. So the max we're ever going to be able to do with Fiend Fire is 90. Unless we can buff our strength somehow, which I don't think we can. So I think 90 is the max we're ever going to be able to do. So if we get him down to 90, then we're maxed out. 90 is what we want. We have to kill these guys. I don't know how, but we do need to kill those guys. Taking 10, which is not so bad. It's not great, but not an awful start. annoying. A lot of damage. It's a little less now. But it's still a lot. I mean, we're doing everything we can here. I think at this point we go back to focusing him now. Unless he's summoning more. He's not. we had that uh, iron wave would have been really nice we only need to get him down to 90 we can get him down to 90, we can fiend fire him, and then he's done so. So all we need is 90. 
He's summoning more, which is fine. I think that's... Oh no, because he's going to summon them after... That was bad. Poor play on my part there. We're not getting off enough damage on him, so I think we need to ignore these guys for a while. Because we really need damage on him. Iron Wave would have been great that turn, but unfortunately we didn't draw it. So we're taking seven, it's not so bad. Okay, this is a turn we can get some damage off. Hundred more damage and we're there. We're getting there, slowly. Genuinely think this is our best strategy as well. Which is tough to say, but... I don't know why I double tap struck there instead of defending. I don't know. I mean, it definitely wasn't worth it. I don't know what I was thinking there. Right, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 16 times 9. I mean, it's over 100, but it's not amazing. It's like 148. It's a lot of damage. We would have gotten them down a little bit more. Might even still be able to. We need 20 block. So we need two more block from here. I don't think we're going to be able to do it because uh, he's going to be attacking us this turn and he's going to be doing a load of damage. But I think we came pretty close, honestly. I don't think we're going to be able to block all that damage. Yeah. Unfortunately. Let's see how much it would have done. Is that 190? From 190 all the way to 46. We were 46 off. Pretty close. Almost had him. Not so bad. 46 damage off. I mean, it wasn't a bad run. It was actually a really fun deck, and uh, I wouldn't have expected it to... That's not an archetype I would normally build into, but it was it was really cool. That's why I love Slay the Spire. You can get some randomly fun decks. But, I mean, thanks for watching. Probably isn't the longest episode, but I mean, that's probably for the best. But, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.